but Sumatran rhinos is one of them. With only 200 of these animals left in the wild, you'd be forgiven for thinking that it was a lost cause. But driven by his passion and extraordinary dedication, for the last year, 13 years, in the Lusa ecosystem of Aceh, the rhinos have been thriving under Rudy's watch. Although he seems to survive on little more than air and water, in, his, in Rudy's case, uh, appearances can be very deceptive, for he has a core of steel. He has shown extraordinary leadership and courage under difficult circumstances, especially in combating illegal oil palm plantations. And what I like best about Rudy's work is that he has really big ambitions for Sumatra's rhinos. And with Future for Nature's support, I really believe he has every chance of succeeding. Rudy, welcome. Thank you for everybody. Thank you for inviting me um, for this uh, forum as one of the winner feature for Nature Watch um, for this year. Um, my name is Rudy Hadiansa Putra. Um, I am from Aceh, a your province in uh, Sumatra Island in Indonesia. No, uh, I want to give you a presentation about my job, my work in Lucer Ecosystem, saving the most important population of Sumatran rhino. Uh, this picture, uh, female and uh, cow, taken by uh, video camera trapping, uh, supported, supported by ECT, one organization in Netherlands, um, active to support wetland uh, monitoring in Lucia ecosystem. Thank you for Mr. Martin. Um, as we know, Sumatran rhino is one of the rarest mammal in the world. Not so many. Formally, the distribution of Sumatran rhino is very large from the Himalaya, Bhutan, to India, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia Peninsula, Sumatra, Borneo, Indonesia, and Malaysia. But no, 99% population lost. Only few of pocket population know in Sumatra, Indonesia, and Malaysia. This one is Sabah in Borneo, Malaysia. <coughs> but the population may be less than 10 individual. The other is Taman Negara in Malaysia. Population may be less than 50. 15. And population in Malaysia may be less than 25, maximum 25. The other question is in Indonesia, um, why Kambas National Park? Population not so much, only 20, 25, 25 to uh, 35. And we can see this. This is population. This is distribution of uh, Sumatra rhino in Waikambas. Only in this location. The large only for the total area only 130,000 hectares. And this area is encroachment area. Illegal encroachment. Danger for rhino. The second is. Bukit Barisan National Park in Indonesia also. But the distribution of Sumatran rhino only in here and is very, very limited. Population, uh, we estimate last year, population in here, in this location, only maximum 40. From 20 to 40. Decrease significantly 
uh, from XT in 2006 and low 20 to 40, maximum 40. And last year, I joined with this, in this project for the college, the DNA from the DA, we just for 12 of sample. It's very, very dangerous population in here. Why? Because the government give license to cross this concentration area for, for the new road. After that, water come and uh, rain was lost. <coughs> and last, this is the nature. How many population there? I will tell you later. <laughs> the world population know for Sumatra Rhino less than 200. Less than 200 is very, very low. And IUCN category Sumatra Rhino is critical in danger. Maybe next here, uh, the category may be real, near to extinct, need to help. No, I want to explain about the loser population. This is loser ecosystem. In my life, I have two wives. The first is my wife, and the second is loser ecosystem. <laughs> but the first way is loser ecosystem. <laughs> because if I save the loser ecosystem, it means save my family also. Because we live in here, in this area. And total 4 million people live surrounding lesser ecosystem and the water supply and the other of, uh, kind of need for human life support by lesser ecosystem. Very important is water supply. It means if you save the lesser ecosystem, save the people, 4 million people also. It's very important. And this area, green line, is the loser ecosystem boundary. Uh, the total is 2.6 million hectares. This is the largest uh, conservation area in Indonesia. Uh, majority in Aceh and small part in North Sumatra. <coughs> and where the population right now? Rhino only symbol, but very important for me. In lesser ecosystem, we identify full, full population of Sumatran rhino. The main core in this area is west of mountain lesser ecosystem. It's the best population known. And the other sites, like this, Kapi, Samarkilang, and Butungate. Uh, we found the sign, but we don't know how many population there. We estimate maximum population only uh, 20 for this location, for three location. And the total population in last laser ecosystem, we estimate about 100 population, individual Sumatra rhino. It means the largest, the highest the highest population of Sumatra right now in the world. <coughs> and for this location, we estimate population now about 80 individual of Sumatra and Dino. This means this location very, very important for Sumatra and Dino. The population for this area increased significantly from 40 to 80, but we need 26 years full protect to increase this population from 40 to 80, no 80. 
Proteus Walker before me said, if this area 26 years ago not visited by rhino and no popul all of this area visited by rhino, it means the rhino make uh, expansion population, exp expansion of habitat and the, pop uh, the population individual is increased significantly. But only 2.7% per year is very, very low. We need minimum 3% low, 3% uh, population growth per year. We need maximum, minimum. I'm only uh, doing half for this period, only 30 years, 30 years. Okay. Uh, we know why the population of the Sumatran rhino uh, better in lesser ecosystem. Why? Because these people, they do petrol every day, every week, every month, every year. We thought, stop. We can't stop. Maybe uh, whatever will happen, we can we can't stop to petrol. Very very important because if one week we talk petrol, the poacher will come into the area and kill the rhino. This twenty six year constant protection. This is my work, my team. Uh, very nice to cross the river, but sometimes if the blood season, we need one week to just to waiting, waiting before to cross the river. Blood season and no uh, February, January, February is blood season in, in Sumatra and difficult to reach this, this area. This uh, our team to measuring the Rhino sand uh, for the willow, and if they find the sign of the water rhino, our staff record in data data sheet and will be uh, will be connecting with the database system. This is the result of this water rhino in Lucian ecosystem. Very healthy, very strong, and uh, maybe she don't like the, the camera smell and the waiting to attack the, the, the camera. And last one, uh, my camera broken by rhino attack. <laughs> It's okay, I'm, uh, we lost the camera, but happy because this is a natural uh, habit here. <laughs> yeah, this one. It's very, very strong. Yeah. Male with the high right, high horn, and uh, maybe he do not like the smell of the camera, and they were waiting to, to, to attack the camera. But, for the next uh, clip, they not go to, to the camera, and, but back and run. <laughs> and very important thing for my job is continuous training for the staff. Very important. Before we recruit the staff and uh, join with the <coughs> my team, we need two years, two years to training staff. We need staff with a strong personality, strong honesty and strong of body of Because if we don't, uh, the staff not strong with the capacity, maybe this, they will discuss with the other people or poacher 
and the poacher will come to the Venetian ecosystem. Danger. Uh, very important to stop, to secret the information from, this, from uh, uh, our job. It's very, very important. No, loser is better no, but not enough. We should do much better. We should do much better. The late Dr. Nico Pansrein, he is uh, the best research for the Sumatran orang Sumatran Rhino in, in the world. They make research in laser ecosystem. He was estimated laser ecosystem can support 1,000 Rhino, the big population. I know this is our target. <laughs> Maybe we need time about 50 years or one, one century. What we need to do, we should do. The big target. No core of my work from this year is to continue to protect and increase the population of rhino in the core area. Very important to keep this, this area, to save this area. Very, very important. If we lost this area, it means lost hope for the future of rhino in the world. Very important. The second is to assess status of the other isolated population and drug protection strategy. How about this population? How about this population? How many population is here? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe ten. And if you know, we need strategy how to maintain this population. Maybe we need translocation if this location only one rhino or this one rhino. Better for translocation for one area in here to the better protection and better population. <laughs> And though there is continued land restoration. In Lucer, many, many disturbance. And very uh, enemy there is palm oil. Uh, about two years ago, we start to stop 25 illegal plantations. About one what 10,000 hectares in total. This area is very nice. Uh, good picture, good area, and very beautiful. But before, this is palm oil. Before, what we do with the palm oil, illegal palm oil, we cut down. All of area no sterile from the from the illegal farm oil. No, this area is much better, and many elephant and many wildlife uh, use this area for the, their habitat. Uh, but this is not a finish because the total is ten thousand hectare. We need much money for cut down the trees, but. We should do. The next is stop road planning in Aceh. This is the next enemy. The new government of Aceh want to control a new road in Aceh and cross the leisure ecosystem. This means we we, we will be lost the area of uh, population in here, in here, in here also. How about this, this area? The, the road not directly to cross this area, but the effect is 
It gives the poacher easy to risk location. We see this, this road and this road. The poacher easy to face and make a poaching in this area. It means population is changing. We need to stop this planning. And we hope of international community can support this and pressure the government of Aceh to stop this planning. It's very, very important. Second is stop forest conversion. The order planning of the government in Aceh, they want to change this area for the mining concession. This area for mining concession. And many companies from Australia, from Malaysia or China, join with the local company to exploitation in this area. And the next, they want to open this area for keyboard company, logging company. And the other, they want to change this area for the plantation, palm oil plantation. This is danger for the user. We need help from international community, <coughs> not only local or Indonesian only, but international. It's very, very effective to pressure the government of Aceh. If success, this work will make a major contribution to the conservation of Sumatra and Taino. But if we fail, maybe this is the last picture we can show the female with the cow. Maybe the last picture. We can make, we can find the next picture because habitat will be long. Very important. Rhino 